The Stella's sea cow was a large marine mammal that was part of a group of animals called sea cows or Sirenians. Unfortunately, due to hunting and habitat loss, this incredible mammal was driven to extinction in the 18th century, soon after first being discovered. Let's take a deeper dive into the life and death of the colossal Stella's sea cow. Before us humans wiped them off the planet, they inhabited regions in the North Pacific Ocean. After years of being hunted by tribes in the North Pacific area for their blubber, by the time Western explorers discovered the Stella's sea cow, their range was limited to the Bering Sea. In particular, their largest population was operating around the Commander Islands and the Aleutian Islands. German zoologist George Wilhelm Stella was the man to first document the creature in 1741. But within 27 years, the last individual had been killed and they became extinct. The Latin name for the Stella sea cow is the Hydromalis gigas. In comparison to modern day Serenians, their size is not even close. The West Indian manatee can grow to lengths of 10 feet, whereas the Stella sea cow was a remarkable 30 feet. Unlike other sea cows, they actually had positive buoyancy, meaning that they could not fully submerge below the water. This gigantic sea beast was heavy to say the least. Fully grown adults could weigh anywhere from 8 to 10 tonnes. They had the title of the largest mammals to grace the Holocene Epoch, other than whales. We are currently living in the Holocene Epoch, which started around 9700 BC. The Hydromalis gigas had a typical trunk-like snout that we see in many modern day sea cows, such as manatees or dugongs. Their snout is directed downwards and it allows them to graze on the sea floor ripping up kelp and seagrass. These herbivores tend to live in large kelp forests. This is their main abundant food source. The Stella sea cow was a highly sociable creature and they would exist in groups and family units. They are monogamous animals, meaning that they have one mate. Amazingly, when hunters would catch a female, the family would attack the fishing boats and the male mate would follow them all the way to land. The female Stella sea cow was only capable of having one child at a time due to a single set of mammary glands. The gestation period from conception to birth was about one year on average. The Stella sea cow's main threat came from mankind. Before its official discovery, North Pacific tribes would hunt the animal, and once discovered in 1741, hunters killed them off in a short time span. As for predators, it is believed that their only real threat was that of the orca, but their positive buoyancy would have made it hard for the orca to pull the stellar sea cow below the water's surface. Due to their main habitat being kelp forest, many shark species would not necessarily be looking at them as prey. Unfortunately, human pressure was too much, and we lost this amazing creature forever. The Stella sea cow was an incredible animal that we will no longer get the pleasure of witnessing. Explore more about the ocean at oceaninfo.com.